Hey, what's up, buddies? This is Hell Buddy again, and welcome back to my another my SQL day format part two video tutorial. Okay, let's see. Now this I'm using the day format column, but you can see the column name so clumsy. So how can we figure it out? Okay, let me go back. Uh, like place back the the statement. Okay, beside the day format parentheses, so I can add like as the new column name. I put a, a login day. You can add whatever name you like, but I choose use the same name. That's what I have before. Okay, let me copy this again and copy, and then click the go button. Okay, you can see now the new column login name instead of the clumsy column name. Okay, I have to go back my day PHP page. I have to paste the new new query from my database. Let me paste on. All right, so this is the new query for my database. And right now I'm not going to use while loop, so let me clean up some statements. And I'm going to use if statement. If open and close parentheses not resort and I will do something else do another thing. Okay, this is the, the statement structure. All right, if I'm not the result variable, so I will, um, like I just make the description here, if not the result, that will, I will exit the, the page. All right, so I have to echo out the message. Sorry. I could not run your data. All right, something something like that. All right. And I just want to for this part give a message, all right, and also I had to exit the page. So exit it. You know why? Because um, I made the description here, all right. Um, I exit the page uh, because just exit to stop query. Let me do query data. Okay. So uh, the first statement is uh, if not. The result, so I will echo out the message and will exit the page. Otherwise, else I will go ahead to retrieve the data. So we we'll put the row variable equals to. I use the my SQL. I use fetch, but this time I use associate. So this is um um uh, the I mean the the statement to keep the function to keep fetching the associative array okay and in the parentheses i put the result to just keep to i mean um, uh, um, looping the query that's what i want so let me put the description so you guys will understand for each a research row as a list array okay okay and uh, next i do have just repeat uh, my SQL free result. That's what I, I I did before, but I just want to repeat repeat it, and uh, put the result in in the parentheses. And this is um uh, just free up. I just free up. Uh, keep free up to continue. It's free up to continue. Okay, all right. Okay, and then I have to echo out the row 
variable, but this time I have to use array. Okay, so I will uh, put the array in the array. This is login day. All right. So let me check out everything. I have maybe just uh, put little mark on each available for this query, so you guys will easy to to look at this. Okay. Let me put this. So in the uh, day format, the login day. I still put this. Okay, but I will, I will, I will explain to you, to you later. All right. Okay, that should, should be it. Uh, let me save this and um, open the browser. Let me refresh the page again. Okay, that's that's this this done. It's right there. The the uh, day format day is already. Uh, make it from the database, which is from the database. One more last thing, everybody wants to remind your bodies. Let's just check back the query. Okay, let me just cut off this clause as login day. Okay, I just cut it out. Okay, just do the normal statement. That's what I showed you before. And uh, save it. Let me open the browser and refresh this again. So you can see now it's all black. So what the hell going on? Okay, you when you use the array, very be careful for this. This row array login day is not belongs to the variables in the day format. Let me place back this clause as login day, and um, I have to save it and I refresh it again. So that would be right that's it. So you have to check out my last tutorial about the for each function. And also don't forget to watch my next tutorial of PHP day function. Thanks for watching and please subscribe Helperty channel.